Hello everyone. There are at least 36 attributes of, or titles of Jesus in the book of Revelation. The title I will focus on today is the Alpha and the Omega. Revelation 22 verse 13 says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. This is the one, this is one of, of four places in the book of Revelation where Jesus himself uses this name of himself. This attribute is unique to him. In the Greek language in which most of the New Testament was written, Alpha is the first letter of the alphabet and Omega is the last, last letter. In modern terms, we might say that Jesus is the A and Z of life and everything in between. No letter stands before Alpha, and no letter follows Omega. This name declares he is the source of all things. Every part of our existence finds its origin or its beginning in, in him. Colossians 2.3 says, in him are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. He is the source of all truth and reality. Jesus defines truth and reality. All other truths, ideologies, and philosophies that are not in agreement are counterfeits. He is the source of all of the promises given in the Word of God, of all the prophecies, and so much more. During Jesus' earthly ministry, he told the religious leaders, before Abraham was, I am. They understood that he was claiming to be the Lord, the I am of Exodus 3, 14. Jesus equated himself with the eternal God, the Father. Jesus has always existed and always will exist. There will never be a time when he is not present. How comforting is that? Therefore, we can trust him with all of our past and our present and our future because he is and was and will be here for all time. He will be with us always, even to the end of the world. He is able to fulfill that promise. So whatever challenges, disappointments we are going through, whatever pain, sorrows, anxieties, doubts, fears, we may be enduring right now. Jesus, the everlasting God, is the source of our never failing provision, comfort, and strength. You know, the earth and its inhabitants thirst for this God. And Jesus assures us in Revelation 21, verse 6, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water without cost from the spring of life, from the spring of the water of life. Jesus is saying, I am the whole story. I am the God of creation, the God of the Old Testament, the God who has been here since the beginning and will be here forevermore. He is saying, I am your God and you are mine for all eternity. Let us pray. Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, first and last. The God beyond our comprehension, thank you for who you are. We praise you for the mysteries of your being. Thank you that you are perfectly present in us right now, and you will never leave or forsake us. Thank you that you can be trusted with the daily struggles of our lives in every season of our lives. And because you are eternal, you will sustain us throughout all eternity. We thank you, we exalt you, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time, stay blessed.